All right, my connection is a little fuzzy, I guess. So um, I'm gonna try to make this a really short video and it's something that I've been praying on and thinking on for weeks, if not months now. And I just wanted to come to you guys and share it. I have so many people that send a request to join the page here and they're, you know, when I ask them, what are their goals? Their goal is to make a living in faith films, you know, to, to be full time in Christian film world. Um, hey guys. And I love that. And I wish, and I hope for the same thing, but it's been heavy on my heart to share what our responsibility is then. If we wish and we so desire that if we could pull our entire life support out of the faith film world, what is it that we're putting in? Because if we all try to draw from the same well and everyone is pulling out and nobody is putting in, mathematically, it just doesn't work. And we live in a world that is run entirely on money. I am one who, if you have followed me for any amount of time, you know that I'm a big dreamer and I believe in a big faith. And so I'm not discounting God's supernatural provision. What I'm talking about today are supernatural, I'm sorry, not supernatural. What I'm talking about today are very practical steps that if you really believe that you want to eventually get to a place where Christian film and this industry is full time supporting you, you need to figure out how you can begin to support the Christian film industry. There is a reason that Netflix has billions of dollars to throw around. There is a reason that 20th Century Fox has, never has any budget issues because people have spent years and years pouring money into them. Now, how does that translate to Christian film? You might say, well, I don't have you know, I don't have, you know, $10,000 to donate to a film project, or I don't have, um, you know, a bunch of money to just to throw around. And that's great. I totally hear you. I don't either. So what I want to talk to you today are about some very practical things that you can do. Um, here in the CC community, I really want to start an active pursuit of encouraging and supporting faith film makers, faith film distributors, directors, other actors. And here's how we can do that. If you have money, listen, <laughs> you know what to do with it. Okay. If you have money, awesome. And if you don't, do you have time? Do you have time to encourage? Do you have time to visit a Facebook page? Do you have time to write a letter of thanks to an actor who gave a very compelling job in a film that really touched your heart? Will you make time to put something in? When God told us the story of the loaves and the fishes, he did not expect a little boy to come with the resources to feed the 5,000. He asked, if there was one person that might have a lunch. I mean, obviously he didn't ask. Yes, the disciples, he's like, hey, you know, so what do you guys think? Let's go find something. And this little boy says, here's what I have. And 5,000 were fed. Now, if you're a follower of The Chosen, you know that Dallas has an amazing loaves and fishes story about that. And that is so, so important that we all don't give nothing because we can't give everything. All God's asking is for what we can give. So there is a film production company that I adore and I can't do this for all of them, but God has convicted me to do it for one. You guys, I send them five bucks a month on PayPal, five bucks a month. Is that a lot? No, it's not. Now, but what if, what if a hundred people did that? That could make a really big impact to their small production company. What if a thousand people did that? We're talking $5,000 a month. And now all of a sudden, this small production company that makes excellent award-winning films and typically has very little to pay their actors, all of a sudden would have money to pay their actors. Do you guys get it? Like, And then, so faith-based casting. Let me just talk about them for a moment. Um, faith-based casting, I've gotten to know the folks behind that. Bev Holloway, Brian Jagger. They have an amazing, amazing team. And they have such god uh, God driven hearts and minds. Um, I leading by example, I signed up today for a subscription with faith based casting. Now, typically if I do any acting jobs, they're sort of just handed to me. Like somebody goes, Hey, Laura, we want you to come, you know, Christian casting to come help with production. And by the way, we want you to take this role. Like that's happened several times to me and that's awesome. Or I end up, I'm working crew and an actress doesn't come one day, you know, an extra and they're like, Glenn, Laura, we're going to put you in. 
that has happened to me a lot of times. But I thought, you know, for those who I have heard maybe have an issue with paying $9.99 a month for faith-based casting. Well, I tried it and, you know, they didn't, they didn't have any roles for me. <sighs> That makes my heart hurt. It didn't used to. I used to be f uh, so afraid to talk about money, and I'm not anymore. I'm not because that's just the way currency is the way our world works. And if we take the Christian part out of it, we wouldn't expect to go anywhere else in the world or in any other industry and as a Christian brain surgeon to not have to pay for medical school or as a Christian baseball player to not have to buy our own cleats or as a Christian... I don't, you name it, a Christian educator who doesn't have to go to school and do a, an internship. I mean, that would be ludicrous to think. And yet, we want to take everything out of the Christian film industry. And we want to, to be able to support ourselves, which, again, is an awesome, awesome life goal. Like, I wish I could help support my family through Christian casting. The fact is, because I've been so afraid of money in the past, I don't really talk about money too much. I don't charge for hardly anything with Christian casting because I fear that stigma that's going to come because I'm a Christian company. And if I was doing it for Jesus, then, you know, I wouldn't charge money. Y'all, I have seven children. I'm pregnant with my eighth. This is my 10th pregnancy. And I'm going, Lord, um, I got a big grocery bill and it's going to get bigger. And, um, and I love Christian casting with all my heart, but could it start to help pay a couple of bills? I mean, you know, I pour all this time in and then I have actually signed up to work with someone else and I get paid to help people establish Actors Access accounts and to build their resumes. But I'm not doing it through Christian casting because I don't charge for those things. But some other Christian friend that I have is doing that and they're paying me to help them with their business. But I have to because my kids need to eat. And so here's, I'm going to try to boil it down real quick. Um, I went today and I subscribed to Faith Based Casting. The fact is I may never even log in. Uh, and look for castings. But $9.99 a month, if your kid was in baseball, that would buy him one pair of socks. If your kid was in dance, it would buy one pair of tights. And all of a sudden, in the faith-based film world, we go, oh, $9.99 a month. I'm not getting anything for it. And, and you can get in their database for free. You only have to pay the $9.99 a month if you actually want to submit for a project. But you can make a profile for free. So here's here's where I'm at with that. $9.99 a month is nothing. It's nothing. We pay Netflix 12 bucks a month. We pay Hulu 10 bucks a month. Some of y'all are paying your cable company 80 to $120 a month. You're paying 80 to 130 bucks a month for your cell phone. You're paying 40 bucks to get your nails done, probably 70 bucks to get your hair highlighted, all these things. And that's that's great. You can totally spend your money on whatever you want. But if you want to make this a career and you really want to, at the end of it, be able to pull, draw from this well that is the Christian film industry and you want to be able to benefit from all that is there, the Bible says that we reap what we sow. That's God speaking, not me. And I, it hurts my heart to realize how much people want to pull out and how very, very little they're willing to put in. And so what I want to start doing is, uh, listen, I still hate money, okay? I just do. I really wish that our world did not use it. I'm an old-fashioned barter girl, and I would, I loved when my one uh, piano student, when their mom would go, hey, could I pay you in honey, you know, because they had beehives, and they had all-natural honey. She'd go, could I pay you in honey this month? And I'm like, yes, yes, you can. I love that. She took what she was good at, and I took what I was good at, and we made it happen. And I really wish that more of the Christian film industry could be that way, but it can. It can. And here's um, uh, Charles. I there's a lot of folks who pay 80 to 100 bucks for a cell phone. Um, <laughs> Charles is finding that hard to believe. So if you pay more than $80 a month for your cell phone, let him know. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just where we live. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, we also have a family plan, though, with several phones. So, um, so here's the thing. If you have a restaurant and you say, I could help cater to a, a Christian film company or an indie filmmaker, maybe I could look around and maybe that could be my contribution is if I have a restaurant, I could provide a meal or two for the next film that comes through my area. Maybe you are fabulous at, um, 
at marketing and maybe you can help do marketing for a, a team. Um, let me see. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, totally. Um, so Deborah, I'm going to get to that, um, in just a moment. So, so we, we may not have money to just throw around, right? Some of you do. Well, maybe not you, <laughs> not me. Um, there are Christians who have money. It's not me. So I give what I can. Like I told you, there's a, the company up in Boston that I give just five bucks a month to because I love them and I wish I could do more, but I can't. I just can't. Um, Pure Flix, 10 bucks a month, I think, 10 or $12 a month. And they are doing so much to create new, um, new series and, you know, to highlight some of your favorite films. How many of you support Pure Flix? How about 24 Flix? It's only $3.99 a month. I'm personally biased toward 24 Flix because I am a part of that. There's educational stuff on there. There is classic television. There are new projects. There's short films. There's features. All kinds of stuff. Drama, comedy, historical, documentary. All kinds of stuff on 24 Flix. And people go, eh, I don't want to pay $3.99 a month. Um, it's really frustrating. And I've gotten to the point where I'm brave enough to just say that the opportunities that you as a Christian actor so desire, part of the reason that they are not there for you is because the well is not big enough yet. And if we all would take our cup and just pour it in, just our own cup. You know, when Nehemiah was building the wall in the Old Testament, you know how they decided to fortify that wall and to make sure it was as solid as possible? Every person built the wall in front of their own home. Every person did what they could do. Nobody was assigned the wall three miles down that they may or may not care about. They were given the wall right in front of them. So I'm going to ask you this morning, what is the wall right in front of you? What is, um, what is that thing that God is compelling you to do? Is it to support faith filmmakers? Is it to support fellow actors? Is it to offer perhaps your, um, maybe whatever your business is, there are an enormous amount of businesses and churches and things out other outlets that could help give of what they have to help Christian film in their area. And if we would all collaborate, it would blow the doors open for Christian film budget wouldn't be such a problem. But it is a problem right now because everyone wants to pull out and very few want to pour in. So on that note, how are we going to fix that? I'm going to start trying to post as often as I can um, and highlight one particular company or one filmmaker or one actor or one distribution company. Okay, I saw um, Deborah, you said parallel or I'm sorry, Christian cinema. So Christian cinema is absolutely um, a great stream platform. Parables TV, 360, um, and we mentioned 24 flicks. Thanks for the shout out. Cause I, I love 24 flicks. That's, that's my baby too. Um, and if you want to get a free two week trial, 24 flicks.com, I'm just saying there are so many people who are like, ah, you know, three ninety nine a month, but, but we'll spend five forty on a cup of coffee at Starbucks, which I don't do. I actually don't. I'd rather go to the gas station and pay like a dollar 89 for it, whatever. Um, or make it at home for cheaper. But, I just really wanted to compel you guys to look within yourselves and say, what can I give to the Christian film industry? What do I have to offer? And sometimes that is just encouragement. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek behind the curtain, and I so hope I don't get in trouble for this. But there is a crime docuseries right now called Vindication. They finished season one. It is on Amazon Prime. It is on Pure Flix. It is on 24 Flix. It is phenomenal. And it is getting attention from the non-faith-based world. It really is that good. Uh, it's incredibly well done. Jared O'Flaherty is the director and writer, and he is amazing. Several of the folks here in the Christian uh, Christian casting film community have been in Vindication. Some of you are appearing in season two. Yay! But I need to tell you, uh, the first organization that I'm going to encourage you to blast with encouragement and prayer is going to be Jared and the Vindication series because this week there are going to be some very, very big decisions made about Vindication. It's going to determine the course of season two. And that's all I'm going to say because I'm not sure if I was even supposed to say that, but I hope that that is not giving anything away. But just know that in these, these projects and even the chosen do you pay it forward with the chosen everybody's like i want to be in the chosen that's awesome so do i so does every 
everybody. But what have you done to put into The Chosen? Are you watching the show? Are you telling others about it? Are you paying it forward? Are you buying, you know, a piece of merch here and there when they when they offer new t-shirts? I'm trying to do all those things because I cannot do much. So I do a little bit here and I do a little bit there and I do a little bit there and I do a little bit there because I believe in those projects and I want to sow into them because if I'm praying that God will help me reap the opportunity to be a part of that project, I want him to know that I've done all that I can do. And I have very little to offer, like the little boy's lunch, like that is legitimately what I have to offer. I have pennies. I have dollars to offer. Um, I prayed for months to be able to get even $100 to be in the first round of investing for The Chosen. Um, with season one, this is back when they first started, they first launched the... Uh, crowd sharing. And I prayed and prayed. I said, God, I want to be a part of that. But it was a minimum of $100. And it literally took me months to save that up. And right before they closed it, the night before they closed, I was able to do that. And so it wasn't much. There's people who have put in $50,000. I can't do that. Good news is God wouldn't expect me to. So I hope, I hope that you guys are hearing my heart. Um, I hope that you reconsider the $3.99 a month for, for, uh, 24 flicks. I really hope you reconsider the $9.99 a month for faith-based casting. Here's the thing. If we, Christian casting, I don't charge for anything right now. I mean, if I do a class, I charge for that because I, I have to. It takes time to, you know, away from my family. And so I do charge for any classes that I teach. Um, but as, for the most part, we try to provide the community for nothing. But the fact is, I, there are festivals that I want to go to. There's a festival in August. The Christian Worldview Film Festival was rescheduled. I was set to attend in March and I was going to, I saved up a little bit and, you know, I was trying to get there and then it didn't work out. And the money that was set aside for that is no longer there. I would love to get to the Christian Worldview Film Festival and tell them all about the Christian casting talent and tell them about our community and tell them that we want to help them cast their films and get to know these filmmakers and make friendships and relationships with them. But it costs money to get there. It costs money to get in the car and go or to get on the plane and go and to eat while I'm there and a hotel to sleep in while I'm there. And so if they're faith-based casting, they know that they're in the same boat. Maybe they charge $9.99 a month. But do you know that that goes toward them keeping up their software? They have an incredible database, and it's awesome looking. So they, they have this well-built system, and they don't have a ton of projects on there right now. But you guys, it takes money to get to these film festivals to meet the filmmakers, to tell them about it. And actually, Brian of Faith-Based Casting and I were supposed to share a booth at the Christian Worldview Film Festival in Tennessee back in March. Um, it didn't happen and God would have it that we still got to do something together. We threw the quarantine film fest together along with Nathan Blair of Kingdom Sight Studios. So that was a blast, but it was just God confirming to me that we are all a family and that we have all got to stand together. It's not this filmmaker over here and this production company over here and this actress over here and this y'all we're the body of Christ, the body so the angle over there is doing a great job and the elbow over there and the eyebrow over there and the knuckle over here is doing awesome. But if we would unite and we would all collectively pour our resources in, we would pool them and then all of a sudden not be so shorthanded because we have the resources. We do. But right now we're giving them to Pizza Hut and DirecTV and to AT&T and we're giving them to, you know... XYZ. We have some resources that we could reallocate for the Christian film industry. And I'm not asking you to give it to me. I'm asking you to give it to somebody else, but give it to somebody who's who's spending their existence staying up late because they still have day jobs. You know why? Because they don't make enough in the Christian film world to quit their day jobs. So they're working their day jobs and then they're spending some time with their family. And after their families go to bed, they're crushing themselves at night to stay up late and edit and to write and to film and to try to cast and all of this stuff because they don't have the income to not have their day job right now and so right now I just wanted to come to you guys unafraid any longer to let you know that this is the way the world goes round and to those who say well do I really need headshots yes yes you do yes you do uh, if you go play ball you need a glove you need your headshots. Do you need a resume? Yes, you do. I'm not even going to discuss that at this point, okay? Some of the questions that I get are kind of crazy. So we're just going to establish that right here and now, right now. Yes. Um, do you know a Christian photographer who is doing an incredible job? Give them your business. 
okay? So if we could continue to reallocate our resources and put them into the people who are also pursuing what we want to do, the pool grows and the ocean gets bigger. And, and then all of a sudden there's more to pull from. You know, then when the rains come down and like it's filling to overflowing and that's what God wants to do is overflow our cup. But we're all kind of stingy and we're not putting in. And that's why, listen, today I'll screenshot it. If you want to see a screenshot, I have one. Um, I just subscribed to Faith Based Casting today. Why? Because I love them and I love what they're doing. And whether or not I book a job in the next six months, I don't care because I know their hearts and I have gotten to know their people. And I know how hard they are working to try to do this within a very, very limited budget by people who very much want the opportunities to submit to a project, but they don't want to pay for it. Well, that makes those of us like myself and like Brian have to go out and find other work to do that will pay our bills because we do need to feed our families. And then with what's left, um, we come to you guys and give you all that we have and all that we can offer. But we have to take care of our families too. And I understand you guys have to take care of your families. So I'm not asking you to take anything out of your family's mouths or out of your family's budget. I'm just asking you to reconsider how you might be able to use your own resources and your own calling. Uh, maybe you're a sports coach and you say, hey, um, I'm going to keep an eye out if somebody needs, you know, sports equipment for a film or, you know, some, anything like that. Like I've been in films where we needed horse trainers and where we needed armor. And this guy who was like a fabulous, gifted historical armor genius um he was like crafting roman armor for us so his day job was roman armor but he was able to give and he was such a significant part of that film project because of what his day job is so what is your day job and how could you use that to better and to gift yourself to the christian film community um, I want to start some threads where we can begin to connect you guys and where you can make what you have available to the film industry in certain places. You know, we're going to, I'm going to try to do like by certain states, we're going to start trying to organize not just actors, filmmakers, studios, um, you know, rental companies, hopefully keeping it within, you know, supporting the body of Christ if we can. Um, but let me look through these comments real quick because I want to make sure that um, I'm not missing. <laughs> okay, so some of them disappeared. I see. Um, is it Yvette? It says, I don't do Starbucks either. Um, yeah, and especially recently. I, I just can't. Um, okay, so Deborah said heading over there now. Aw, yay. Thank you. Um, so thank you, Sharon, for uh, confirming. Thank you very much. You and Kimberly Rose. Uh, I'm glad I'm not the only one struggling jamie absolutely not like look i am broke as a joke most days uh, and if i'm not it's because the bills just haven't been taken out yet. i'm like yay i'm rich for a day uh, not even rich i'm just you know whatever <laughs> i wish i could keep all that money but it's all allocated to someone else um okay so okay jamie awesome with a photographer so let us know where let us know where jamie is um and where that photography happens Sorry, sorry, I just dropped myself. Anyway, <laughs> I think, oh, I think I scooted myself in. That is way too close. Sorry, got to keep a healthy distance. Um, so anyway, so today, your homework, CC family, is to go to the Vindication page. And also, if you don't know about Vindication, as a, as a budding, aspiring Christian actor or actress, you should. Because it is taking not just the faith film world, but the secular world by storm. Because it is surprisingly great. Um, and I have seen articles posted by non-Christian companies who are reviewing Vindication going, hey, this is the new show to watch out for. But as an openly Christian director, they have openly godly storylines, but it's done in a compelling way where it doesn't make you feel like you're sitting in a cheesy church service. It's so well done that they're able to slip some things in there and just slide some truths in. And by the end of it, you you just soak everything up, Christian or non-Christian. Um, so Vindication is a series that you want to know about and you want to support. And fact is they need your prayer. So I would love if as many of you as possible could go to the Vindication page today. Give it a like. 
for sure. And then post a note on the wall and just say, hey, we are praying for vindication season two and we just wanted you to know. I cannot tell you what that would do for Jared's heart. I cannot tell you what it would do for the cast and crew who are going to be filming next week to see those things. Um, and we are going to start more often providing opportunities, very specific places for you guys to go and to encourage. And if God compels you to give financially to them, then that's great. That's between you and God. And I'm never going to try to determine that for you. So, oh, awesome. Thank you for the, um, thank you for the website, uh, Jamie. That's Shannon's website. Um, so here's the thing. If you want to make your living in Christian film, I commend you and I, I'm right there with you. But I want you to do some self-analyzation today and say, what am I? This is a well that I'm wanting to draw um, life support from. What is it that I am putting in? What do I have to offer? And if you want to message me or if you want to drop a comment below and say, hey, this is what I do. And I have no idea how that could ever translate to being a help to the Christian film industry. Um, then I will help you. I've worked on enough projects that I I can tell you where some unexpected places of support and encouragement are. So that's all I've got for today. But please do consider supporting um, the places that are doing. And you know what? Maybe they aren't able to offer you what you wish they could offer you yet. I'm going to tell you part of that is financial. Part of it is. It's just the way the world goes around. And so if you want to see more casting notices on faith-based casting, if you want to see more casting notices for Christian casting, um, help us spend more time working on this for you guys. And, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, consider who you might send three or five dollars a month to. Uh, it adds up. And especially if a hundred people did it or, or 500 or, you know what, there's a zillion people who could do it, you know, if it was just a few dollars. And, uh, we all could make a difference if we all were doing our part. But I think sometimes, we don't do anything because we feel like what we have is not enough. Um, and maybe that's true. And maybe it's this virtuous like, oh, I wish I could. But, you know, um, or maybe sometimes it's just it's just laziness. Like we we should. But, you know, we just don't. Um, I would ask you to please prayerfully consider. I don't want to try to persuade you into anything um, except to look inside and say, if I want to get paid. I, I cannot tell you how many projects I've done for free. At this point, I continue to do projects for free. Even as the owner and founder of Christian Casting, even with all of the films that I have under my belt, even with all, I mean, listen, <laughs> I do a lot of free work still. You know why? Because each project that comes up, I say, God, what do you want me to do? Do you want me involved in this project? And it's never about the check. It's about God's purpose for me. Uh, now, is it great when I'm able to do a job and they cut me a check at the end? Pff, for sure. Okay, and it's a huge help to my family. It's an enormous help to my family. Um, there are times that we literally pray groceries in. Just going to say it like that. Uh, but I still do free projects if God tells me to. And if we would pool our resources and we would do what we can, each of us build the wall right in front of us, then I think we would look around and then all of the sudden the body of Christ would unite and that wall, that Nehemiah wall, all of a sudden we'd go, whoa, look what we did together. Holy cow. If we each would do just our part. So I want to ask you what your part is today. And I want to ask you, what are you going to sow into Christian film? And I'm not saying it's got to be money. I'm not. I'm not one of those like so into the ministry. I'm so not. So don't get that. Okay. Do not hear that from me. But the biblical, the biblical phrase that I do wholeheartedly support is that God says we will reap what we sow. And if you are an encourager, then get out there and sow encouragement. If you are a sewer, then get out there and help with some costumes. If you're a baker, get out there and help with some, some breakfast for the casting crew. You know, there's so much. If you are a car salesman, listen, the last film I did, we needed a bunch of Lincolns. What did we do? We found a really cool car salesman who loved the mission of the film and was like, sure, we can, we can let you guys borrow some Lincolns. So we lined them all up in front of this mansion. It was awesome. Um, so even if you're a car dealer, yes, there is a way for you to give to the Christian film industry. So why don't you let me know what do you have to offer or just pray and reflect and ask yourself what for an industry that I want to take from and that I selfishly and me too, me too 
would love to take life support from to be able to support myself financially solely through Faith Films. Um, what am I going to give toward the pool um, in order to be able to help take that out later on? So that's all I've got. I love you guys. And I'm sorry if I missed comments. I'll go ahead and go through those here in just a bit and um, turn my AC back on in my car because I'm a little sweaty. Sorry, I don't have my powder. <laughs> I'm breaking all the filming rules. My camera is not landscape and in portrait mode. I'm sweaty. I'm so sorry. I know the rules. I'm breaking them right now because it's been on my heart to say it and I just really needed to say it. I'm actually leaving a blood work appointment right now um, for baby number eight. Um, and so that was, I figured this is the quietest part of my day is sitting in the parking lot before I head home to my seven children. So um, I love you guys very, very much, and I want to give you all of me that I have, and I want to continue to open up opportunities and resources for you, but please pray for Christian casting. Please pray for Christian filmmakers. Please pray for each other. Please pray for production companies. Please pray for post-production companies uh, like Kappa Studios. Please pray for distribution companies like 24 Flicks, like Parables, like 360, uh, who are trying so hard to offer you what we all want, um, but with resources that are next to none. So please just pray about what God would have you do. And um, today's homework is to go to vindication page. I'll try to post a link. Or if somebody else is already following and could post a link, that would be fabulous. Um, and go let them know that you're praying for them. And then in the next day or two, we'll drop somebody else for you to pray for. And let's just start giving what we have to give. Okay? If we're not asking you to give your IRA. I'm asking you to bring your loaves and fishes. To bring your little lunch and say, God, what could you do with my lunch? Um, because he can do incredible, incredible things with it. And he can take it and wow a crowd of 5,000 people with leftovers. Uh, when we are willing to give what we have. So, alrighty. I love you guys so very much. And I hope to be checking in with you a little bit more often. Um, you know, I got to pay the bills first. And then, <laughs> and then I try to come back and chat with you and provide opportunities for you and new ideas and new networking. Uh, I hope to see all of you, many of you, at Content 2020. I also was supposed to be at Christian Worldview Film Festival. But that was delayed because of, you know, world situations back in March. And so it's now been rescheduled for August 10th to 14th in uh, outside of Nashville, Tennessee. So really, really hoping to get there. But I don't I don't know if we're going to be able to make it happen or not. So I may try to teach another round of classes. Um, maybe if you guys, some of you took the Book It course and loved it. If you would like to help promote that to other people, um, the sales of that video series would help me get to the film festival. Uh, I want to get there because I want to tell people about you guys, but I can't get there unless I have the funds to do so. Um, and, and that goes for every, that goes for filmmakers who want to submit their projects to, you know, to get awards. They have to have funds to do so. So there's lots of ways we can all support one another. And prayer is a huge one. Don't ever underestimate prayer and encouragement for certain. But also sometimes with a prayer and encouragement comes a little boy's lunch, which is a couple little fish and a couple little loaves. And then God goes, thank you. I know that that's all you had to offer. Now step back and watch me be God. I'm going to take the currency that you operate in and I'm going to translate it into heavenly exponential miracle. And, um, and I know that he can do that and he wants to do that. He's shown us that over and over. So really appreciate you guys. I love this community so much. And I thank you for being here and being a part of it. And if you have any questions for me, drop them below or any links that you want to share with the group and we will connect again soon. So, all right. Love you guys. Have an awesome, awesome day.